Hello and welcome to our gentle yoga practice. Today we are going to be experiencing a very gentle yoga practice that is going to be restorative, it's going to be stretching, it's going to be strengthening, all wrapped into one. So you'll need a chair if you want to grab a chair. You can go ahead and grab one and then come on back and we will get started. We are starting in our chairs. We're going to begin in stillness and we're going to end in stillness. So we're sitting in our chairs, relaxing everything in our bodies. You can close your eyes if you'd like to. We're going to take these first several moments, allow the body to rest. And when the body comes to rest, the mind comes to rest, the heart comes to rest. Any internal anxiety or stress will often come to rest. It helps you to find gentle movement at this point. You're welcome to do that, maybe in the neck or the shoulders or the jaw. going to slowly begin to blink our eyes open and we're going to stack our vertebrae up one at a time all the way up toward the ceiling so we get a nice long spine here. We're going to start with a flow which just means we move with our breath. So it's a very simple straightforward one. We're going to inhale bring the arms overhead and we're going to exhale release the arms down. Good. You might want to add a head with it so as we inhale we look up and as we exhale we look down. We're breathing in and out of our nose at this point which helps us really regulate that breath and regulate and slow down the movement. So let's inhale up, exhale down. Again inhale it up continue moving with your breath and you may find that your pace is a little bit different than mine. That's absolutely fine. Follow the pace of your breath and of what your own body is ready to do today. Let's do a couple more. Good and inhale it up. Beautiful. We're going to hold here at the top and then we're going to grab one wrist and we're going to gently stretch it over to the side. Oh, that should feel nice. All of this practice today should feel good. If anything feels uncomfortable, then just back up out of it. We don't want anything to feel uncomfortable or to hurt. We're just going for a gentle self-care practice today. Let's go one more on each side. Good, beautiful. All right, we're going to make our way to standing, to a standing position. So you can go ahead and stand and you might want to have your chair in front of you. I'm going to move mine off to the side so you can see what I'm doing. But we are going to practice a mountain pose. So a mountain pose is just like it sounds. A mountain is strong, it's stable, it's secure, it's big, it's beautiful, it's bold, right? A mountain is not all over the place. <laughs> so we're going for those those first set of adjectives. We are going to push our feet into the ground. You can imagine roots shooting down from your feet into the ground. So it's really, we're really rooted into the ground here. The rest of our body is pulled up nice and tall. You can also imagine a string pulling from the top of your head up to the ceiling. Good, this is our mountain pose. Let's take our, ear, our ears, our shoulders up to our ears back and then allow them to melt down the back of your body. Beautiful. Now here today, this is a gentle practice, so you may be happy to just stand here and rest and enjoy this pose. You're welcome to close your eyes if you'd like to. You may want something a little bit more today, and if you do, one way to do that is to really think about pushing the feet into the ground and then you can think about spreading the ground apart with your feet and that will activate those leg muscles, getting them nice, nice and engaged so we can build strength while we're standing here. Good. 
We're going to continue holding this for a few more breaths. As we're standing here, we're relaxing through the face, relaxing through the jaw. We hold a lot of tension in our upper body, in the face, the jaw, the shoulders. So we're gonna check in there, relax in those areas which will help us relax in other parts of our body. Which will help us relax our breath. Good. Let's go ahead and take an inhale here. We're gonna inhale, arms overhead. We're going to exhale hands to heart. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and sit back down. So that was it for the standing portion today. We're going to sit back down in our chairs. All right. We're going to do a cobra pose, which means we're going to be engaging our back a little bit here. We're going to lean forward. Now, I like to take my arms behind me like so. You are welcome to keep your hands on your legs as long as they're not doing any of the work, or you could let them dangle down toward the ground. Okay, but I'm gonna bring my arms back. From here, I'm pulling my fingers toward the back wall, and then I'm going to look forward. Good, and then with my eyes, just my eyes, I'm looking up at the ceiling. And that's likely going to lift your chin, which is going to help those back muscles just engage all the way down your back. All right, let's go ahead and release everything. Allow your head to drop down. Shake your head yes and no a few times to release the neck. Okay, let's come back to our starting position. So here we are. Arms are back. We're going to look forward. Good. And then with the eyes, we're going to look up at the ceiling. You might start to feel some things happening in your back here. And then we're going to lift our heart up about two inches. Here we go. Up and hold and then release down. Now, I should say, make a disclaimer here, that if you have any kind of um, spinal issues or issues in your back, not just the muscles, but in the back, please be careful with this one. Only do what you are comfortable doing or what your doctor or physical therapist have told you is a good idea to do. All right, let's try this again. So starting position, we're going to look forward, eyes look up, which lifts the chin, and then we lift the heart a few inches. This time, take those fingers and reach them toward the back wall. Good, and hold, hold, and release down. Beautiful. Let's do that again two more times. Let's look forward. Oh, starting position. <laughs> Sorry, starting position. Look forward. Eyes up. Lift the heart about two inches. And release back down. Good. One more time. We're going to hold this one when we get to the top. So let's come to our starting position. Look forward with the head. Eyes look up. And then we lift about two inches. We're going to hold this one here this time. We're going to hold, hold. Hold, reach the fingertips back, and then release down over those legs. Melt everything down over those legs. Good. Now we're going to roll up through this spine. I've got a nice back stretch here for us. We're going to cross the arms over at the heart. Pull the elbows forward. As we pull the elbows forward, let's pull our hearts back. So we get this oppositional stretch here. So elbows are forward, heart comes back, and then we'll bring our elbows down toward the ground. Bring your chin to your chest, and then you can start to take your elbows over to one leg, and then to the other. Good. Stretching through those back muscles. Beautiful. I've got one more pose for us, <clears throat> and then we're going to bring the practice to a close. We are going to do a pigeon pose, so we're going to either cross over at the ankle, or if you can get your ankle up to your knee, we're going to bring it up to the knee. We're going to keep this foot flexed here. This is also a really, really good stretch if you have any kind of sciatica issues. 
So we're going to keep this foot flexed. We're keeping the back straight. Let's start with our hands at our hearts. Good. We're reaching our heart up toward the ceiling, reaching the head up to the ceiling, nice and tall. You are welcome to close your eyes. Especially in a gentle practice like this, I really like to keep my eyes closed as much as possible to relax. With your hands at your heart, begin to notice the rise and fall of the heart with your breath. And notice as the breath enters your body, notice the rise and the fall in your, in your, um, in your belly button area, your navel area. And just above that. Good. Now let's lift our hearts to the ceiling and then we're going to hinge forward. This time we're going to feel a bit more of a stretch. Again, we're keeping the top foot flexed and we're keeping our back straight. You can do the same thing if you're crossed at the ankles. Keep the foot flexed and then keep the back straight. from that and let's switch legs so we're crossing again at the ankle or bringing the ankle up to the knee there's no pressure to do to bring your um, ankle all the way up to your knee listen to your body again listen to what your your um, medical professionals have told you in the past if you've had knee replacements hip replacements all of that there might be special consideration so listen to that follow those um, those guides we will hold here. Again, the top foot is flexed. Our back is nice and straight here. Begin to notice your breath as we're holding in this position. Breathing in and out of the nose. Let's lift our hearts to the ceiling and then we'll hinge it forward. Keeping a long straight back here. As we find a full, complete breath, all inhaling all the way, exhaling all the way, you may notice that you begin to go a little bit deeper on the exhale, it's because our muscles are releasing, they're allowing us to go deeper as we soften and relax through the body. Good, and then come on up. I always say gravity has one job. If we can get ourselves into a position where gravity can help us stretch, it will help us. It has one job and it's really good at it. All right, friends, we are toward the end of our practice. We're going to sit back in our chairs. We, as I promised, we're going to end in stillness, just like we began in stillness. So we're sitting back in our chairs. Let's do this. Let's take our arms wide. We're going to give ourselves a big hug. We're going to give everything a nice big squeeze here. So give yourself a huge hug, a little bit of self-love, self-care. You can even curl your toes. You can squeeze your eyes. And then we are going to release everything back into our chairs, sitting in a nice, comfortable position. I invite you to close your eyes again as we end our practice in stillness. Then I will call us back together in just a few moments.
Let's begin to wiggle our fingers and toes, find gentle movement in the neck and the shoulders, waking the body back up. Excellent work today. This is the perfect practice if you just need to unplug, unwind for a few minutes, kind of reboot, and then you can go back into the day. Or it's also a really good practice to end the day with. It helps to calm us down so that we can get ready to have a good night's sleep. Feel free to come back to this, revisit it anytime. You just need a few minutes for yourself, a few minutes to just practice some self-care. So thank you for joining me today. Let's take an inhale up. And we're going to exhale hands to heart. We're going to bow in recognition of our time together, our practice together. And I just want to say thank you for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.